Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Nat. We're going to play with some alcohol inks today. It's going to be a very simple card and honestly this is a Father's Day card but I only made it late Saturday so think about it as like using your alcohol inks rather than an idea for a or an idea for a mail card rather than an idea for a Father's Day card. Okay, because I'm a little bit late. So we have uh, we have cute Couture Creations alcohol inks. What I'm going to use is Ginger, Teakwood. Now some of these names got changed. I think it's the pearls, but I'm not too sure. So we've got Ginger, Teakwood, a Mineral Pearl. A gold pearl so the mineral may have been changed I've got to have a look at that and we're going to use in the end I'm going to bring in some champagne alloys so you'll see you'll you'll see I'll point out to you when I bring in the pearl because it's it's honestly it's quite obvious and then the alloy so what the alloys do is when you when you put the blending solution down then it's it's almost like it goes underneath it lifts it up and breaks it apart so you have a little bit more of like a threading sort of thing this is the pearl can you see how it sort of it very much sparkles it's quite looks a bit yellow there and that was a hard thing it, you'll see at the end the photo is a little bit dark because it was hard to take a photo with the colors being like really nice compared to in real life the camera is going to do some funky little things I'm coming in with the alloys here and it's going to be hard to see but you can sort of see a little bit that it breaks up as I was saying the camera's going to be a little bit funky as you could see there because there's nothing else I can do except have my hands sometimes over the top but if you can have a look at that gold alloy, especially the one down in the bottom right, you can sort of see that it breaks apart. And that's what alloys do. When you put the blending solution, it I was when I was doing it, it, honestly, it looked like it was going underneath it, lifting it up, and then cracking it. So we've got this paper rose multi-spot die. As I said, this is a really, really simple in design. So we've die cut that out of white cardstock three times and obviously the alcohol background and so we're going to raise it all up now I'm going to use just a little bit of glue I'm going to cut it out you don't need to see me glue all this together um, but I'm making sure around the edges but trying not to get too much and have it ooze everywhere the good thing about glue is you have a little bit of wiggle room so it's not simply a matter of that you can put it down you can sort of squeeze it and push it around a little bit so that's everything all put together so that's I've got our three white and uh, alcohol inks now I wanted to use this unique creative uh, I got this in a kit I will have a double check and over on the blog I will tell you which one it's from it uses the um, the dye the essential dye too but I'm going to do something else I saw I don't know who this was I can't think I only saw it the other day I don't know why I can't remember have a piece of cardstock lined up against the edge of your guillotine and then have what you want to cut sticking out so you can see way easily where everything is going to cut so it just made it super easy so over on the blog I will find what this is out of this Father's Day and let you know well, there's, although as I said before think of this as a mail card rather than a Father's Day card I've just sort of trimmed off the end to be a little bit of a diagonal cut what I'm going to do is with a distress marker and just go around the edges because it's white cardstock with black printing on black and white printing black yeah you know what I mean like the round of the 
Sorry if you can hear that. It is the 6th of September as Melbourneites know at this point in time we are in lockdown so everyone is at home and people decide to come out of their room yelling to other people. But anyway, we're going to raise this up, this strip up with a little bit of foam tape, foam mounting. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of clear drops. Now some of them are cloudy they're five millimeter cloudy ones and some of them are three millimeter clear ones i think i actually bought some cloudy ones the cloudy ones look very clear on this so it doesn't really matter and it may be simply a fact that they were a little bit in qm so this is a card for leslie from little bits in melbourne try and get this done before someone else interrupts me coming yelling through the place it's all good it's all good and her information will link down below if you email her she'll be able to hook you up with any of these alcohol inks or the dye or even the sentiment strip but over on the blog I will find out what that is and let you know it was honestly it was I think I, I get a monthly card making kit and i think it was on the back of one of those like the little thank you for ordering with us sort of thing um, but i will have a look and i will find out which one it is and let you know i'm just using a little jewel picker here and some multi matte medium i'm a little bit low there you go fixed we're just going to place those down as I said, the photo at the end is a little bit darker because uh, I've tried to bring up the colours. If I tried to lighten it like I normally would do, it just washed it out, even with it and changing other settings. So I've picked a little bit darker. Over on the blog as well, there'll be another photo. Hopefully uh, you should be able to see some of the colours a little bit better, especially as you move it, you can really, really see it. That's my card. Take care. I will hopefully talk to you soon. Bye.